Hi there, welcome to Sunnyside Journals. I'm Catherine, and I'm going to do a flip through today of a really sweet little journal I recently finished, and I created it from a vintage edition of E.B. White's classic story, Stuart Little. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I have created it from a 1973 edition and I rebuilt the spine so it is still the original size that it was because I loved the spine and I really uh, thought this book needed to stay exactly the way it was um, but with some extra pages put in for writing in or for adding in your own artwork or um, memories or photos anything that you can imagine can go into uh, this cute little book. I've often wondered if it would make a nice little travel journal if you've been on a trip somewhere because in it of course Stuart goes on adventures. I think it would really make a sweet travel journal. So uh, this book as I said 1973 I will be sending it along with some of the original pages that have some still have some pretty illustrations on them. So the next owner, if you want to uh, use these pages or illustrations uh, for making journaling cards or, you know, bookmarks or, or, um, well, if anything, anything your imagination can think up of. So this book has a hidden hollowback spine in it. So I'll show that to you. And it has three signatures. And it has a total of 60 pages. When you open it up, you'll see that I was able to use the original end papers in the front and in the back. So you'll see there's Stuart off on his adventure. And here's Margalo, his friend that in the end he goes searching to find Margalo again. Now I have repurposed the original front page and I put it on transparent uh, glassine type paper for a reason because on the back of that same page was the copyright and I really like when you can see what year a book was from so I made it that way on purpose so that you'll be able to go back and you can look right through that page and see that this is the 1973 edition uh, I've tried to include many spreads and illustrations in this book, and I've tried to be true to Garth Williams' uh, original artwork uh, that he did for this book. There really is only one other illustrator in this book, and that's Edith Holden. There is one postcard in this book from Edith Holden, and I'll show you when we get there. I loved this picture of New York City, and there's Stuart heading off on one of his many adventures and I loved that quote from the book and it says a person who is looking for something doesn't travel very fast and isn't that true so you're going to see lots of journaling space in this book lots of room for you to make it your own and fill it with your own ideas here's a journaling tag that I made out of the chapter one page that has Stuart looking very dapper with his walking stick and hat and I made the pocket also out of Stuart in his bed there all cozy. This is a um, bulldog clip that I've created. It's the only new thing in this book. All these other materials came from secondhand sources, repurposed sources such as thrift stores, antique shops, church rummage sales, if I can find it somewhere secondhand, that's where I get the most of the materials for my journals. This little, this sweet little bulldog clip, they're very hard to come by at thrift stores. So when I can find them for a good price, I'll grab them up and then I make them look old and I think they're cute. Here is a tag that I made from the original contents page of the book. And I added this picture of Stuart when uh, after he got rescued from the drain and he's spraying himself with his mother's uh, violet water so that he doesn't smell so bad. <laughs> now, you know what? I'll, I'll pick up 
pin that in later. So again, lots of journaling space, lots of fussy cuts of the original illustrations. It's a real tribute to, to both E.B. White and Garth Williams and, of course, Stuart himself. Here he is with his little uh, canoe, uh, Summer Memories. Here's Margolo writing a letter saying that she's heading north. I did all the tea dyeing of this paper. There's Stuart on the fire hydrant. The other side of the glassine paper. Here's a pocket. Uh, using the illustration when Stuart was teaching school one day. In this pocket, I've just tucked some little blank tags for you to make your own and some off cuts from the papers that I used to create the pages. So these might be one of the areas where you'd want to make use of some of the illustrations that I'll be sending along. Here's a little tuck spot, and there's Margolo saving Stuart, and they're flying away. Here's another tag I've created with the journaling space on it, and it has Stuart, and it says, a surprising thing happened. So I put that there. You can put that wherever you like. Stuart. I love this story so much. There's all the people running over to the pond in Central Park, if you remember the famous sailboat race. Here's the postcard uh, from Edith uh, Holden. Tucked into the back here is a tiny, tiny little vellum envelope, and I've put in it some word snippets from the actual book. So you'll be able to see here I know all the places well, and amongst many other word snippets that are in there that you'll be able to make use of. So I just tucked that there. Stuart's car. Another little pocket that I created from the illustration of the pond in Central Park. And then here are some journaling tags as well that I created using illustrations from the book. And you can write on the back or collage on the back or draw. There's Stuart and his brother George. Margolo. So cute. There's Stuart talking with uh, Miss Ames. Here he is trying to save his canoe, Summer Memories. And here are some more little tags for journaling on. Here's another one made from one of the original pages. And then, of course, as ever, all Sunnyside journals go home with a two nanas bookmark so i tucked that in there too and then we come to this page and then i added in a full page of from the story and i included word snippets with the coat the quote that says the sky was bright and he somehow felt he was headed in the right direction isn't that a nice way to end a book it's it's got so much optimism and it makes you wonder What's, ne what's next in store? That's why I thought, you know, maybe a, um, a journal about uh, a trip that you took or an adventure you had. Um, who knows? It's really endless. So these papers will be going along. I've included some tabs in case you wanted to put a tab on the first page of the three signatures. There are three tabs here. So that's the journal for that I created from this beautiful little vintage edition of Stuart Little. And this will be available 
uh, within the next day or two. In my Etsy shop, I will be announcing the exact day um, and, and an approximate time uh, on my Instagram account. So if you feel like following along on my Instagram, you'll have a better idea of when to expect this to be in my Etsy shop. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little flip through of uh, my version of creating a journal from an old copy of Stuart Little. Thanks so much. Bye.